Is Diddy gay? Still gay. You're still gay. Still nigga. <laughs> I'm a suburban. <laughs> I'm a suburban dude. P. Diddy's house just got raided. If you don't know who P. Diddy is, stop I'm watching this nah, channel. Nah, they ain't mean that. Look, okay, all right. Look, you good, man. Just, look, P. Diddy is a producer, engineer, whatever you want to call him. He made a lot of music over time. Artists back in the 90s, like Biggie and all them. Is he on the run? <laughs> this nigga ought to be with Russell Simmons oh, in the f fucking Bali. Ooh, him and Russell about to be chilling. Yeah, they, they, they. <laughs> <laughs> That's the son right there being pulled out. Uh, all three of his sons got pulled out. They all got handcuffed and put to the side. That's all three of them right there. Um, this is a this is a progressing news story, and we will let you know when the diddler has been found. Is Diddy gay? If someone fucked Diddy or got fucked by Diddy, <laughs> I guess to say, for the opportunity. I think that should make Diddy way more gay. Than the person who got fucked. Yeah. I should agree, because you can say them niggas had to do it because they were starving and hungry and needed an opportunity. Diddy didn't, wasn't starving or hungry. He was just being he gay. He was horny. No, well, no, you, he was, <laughs> no. <laughs> you got to ask yourself, how bad do you want these opportunities that come near you? There's a power dynamic there. Diddy, your house getting raided, your kids getting. This Hold is, on, though. I, ain't gonna, I don't agree with that. I think a nigga gay. Think about it like this, right? If somebody gave you the opportunity to go kill somebody to be on, and you get called, does that mean you're not a killer? Ooh, you are still a killer. Still gay. You're still gay. Still nigga. <laughs> Sorry. It was right there. It was right there. I'll give you that one. I'll give you that one. I'll give you that one. This nigga be throwing them jokes up. I'll give you that one. I'll give you that one. It was right there. All right, we got some wild Mexicans and Chinese. Today shows a crowd of 600 migrants breaking down a wire fence and pushing past Texas National Guard soldiers trying to get into El Paso. The state's governor, Greg Abbott, posted on social media, the Department of Public Safety is instructed to arrest every illegal immigrant involved for criminal trespass and destruction of property. They are being misinformed by the transnational criminal organizations. They come all this way thinking that BSI 36 is a legal point to enter the country illegally. The moment of chaos along the border in El Paso comes as the state's sweeping new immigration legislation, SB4, remains caught up in the courts. The Department of Justice argues SB4 is unconstitutional, that immigration policy is the job of the federal government, not the states. Texas officials, though, say SB4 follows federal immigration law. If there is some context to this. They're being told by people in these countries that this is a legal access point and that they're allowed to make it over here illegally when they do. The reason for all of this chaos is because Texas is fighting with the fucking U.S. government saying that like, hey, this should be the federal's you know, responsibility. And Texas is like, nah, if we don't want to let these beautiful immigrants in, we don't have to let these beautiful immigrants in. We need Mexicans. Mm. We're not going to be slaves. Okay, the question then is how many do we how actually... many Mexicans do we need? We already got enough. <laughs> we do. You know so what's really do we need any more? You know what's just... really crazy too in all this? The no. black population barely grew in America. It actually went down. At one point, yes, these niggas do do a lot of labor niggas don't want to do. At the same point, these niggas also can be a detriment too. I feel like this was the thought process behind black people. If the majority of the Mexicans are peace, then they're worth the, the bad app. We really just turned into white men. Correct. Not really, actually. We're saying we're okay with a slave class as long as they're bringing value to the table. And then, oh, we're talking about how violent the slave class is. Actually, we were not trying to cross over. They took us. That is the biggest difference. That is the biggest difference. That is the biggest difference. You know, I'm just saying, that's a pretty fucking big difference. They are choosing to be slaves. They are. You know, Africans didn't want to come here, you know. 